dropping in on you hope everybody is having uh, a great friday uh, winding down their work week or if you like me uh, looking forward to another day uh, where you're going to put in work and uh, cultivate and harvest results uh, again i wish you the best i want you to understand though that no matter where you're at no matter how things are going now, if it's not going the way you want it to go, if you're experiencing delay, difficulty, uh, whatever it may be, understand that if you're still breathing, you're still in the fight, that you have everything within you to persevere, to overcome whatever it is that you are currently facing. I wish you the best and I challenge you to stand up, square your shoulders and face the challenge with faith and uh, fortitude. Now, I have a question. Um, is there something in your life that you've strived for or you desired? If it's something in your life that you deep down inside know it's what you want to be doing, you know it's where you should be, it, it, do you desire to be further along in your relationships, further along in the development or or scaling of your business further along in the building of your financial empire, whatever it is. Um, are you a person that deep down inside knows what it is you want? But if you're honest with yourself, you're not taking the actions necessary to make it happen. Are you a person that if you are honest with yourself, you suffer from procrastination? You tend to sit up and uh, defer the necessary actions to achieve the desired result. Procrastination has become a habitual behavior uh, in your life. You know you have the capacity. Deep down inside, you know that you have the capacity. Deep down inside, you know you won't be fulfilled until you have it. Deep down inside, you know that there's a, a, a yearning and a demand on your life, but you have yet to take the steps, take the actions. Procrastination, I've said this many times, is the thief of time. You will look up one day and five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years will have passed you by and you will still not have taken the steps necessary to push up. It's not that you can't have it. It's not that it's being withheld from you. It's not that it's impossible. It simply requires you to take action. It simply requires you to become dynamically invested in your own dream, dynamically invested in your own vision, dynamically invested in your own hopes and desires. It's sitting down and wanting something won't get it. You don't get what you want. You get who you are. So if it's something you want that you don't have, it means you have to become the person capable of producing it. And that requires action. Are you a person, if you're honest with yourself now, that sits up and has all types of excuses of why well, now is not a good time. You're waiting on the perfect timing. You're waiting on the right opportunity. There's no such thing as perfect timing. There's no such thing as a, a right opportunity. Opportunities are created through effort, through focus, through attentiveness. Opportunities pass us every day, but if we're not in tune with what we're supposed to be doing, if we're not actively moving towards something, we won't recognize the opportunity or we will allow it to pass out of fear, out of trepidation, out of uncertainty. Let me tell you, one of the first things you're going to have to do, if not the first thing, is invest in changing your thinking, changing your behavioral habits, changing your approaches. You've got to break free of your proclivity to procrastinate. 
I I once read and I, I recently shared that I, I read what someone wrote procrastination is the arrogant uh, assumption that God or life owes you another opportunity to do tomorrow what you could be doing today it's an assumption that is foolish because tomorrow isn't promised it's an assumption that is foolish because the time you lose today can never be recovered. You are blowing valuable time sitting on a vision, sitting on a dream, sitting on a hope, sitting on a desire, sitting on a passion, waiting on a moment that will never appear. You've got to create it. What I want to do is I want to invite you into my personal circle to sit down with me in a one-on-one -on -one encounter so that we can tap into and discover the reason for your procrastination. It's there. Past experiences, past influences, limiting beliefs, um, bad self-talk, um, uh, risk aversion, a bunch of other things that are going to be the core, but we identify it and then we can do it. I want you to step into my personal circle, me and you one-on-one -on -one, and work this out. I have made this very doable. Um, anybody who is serious about doing it can do it and I'll leave it at that anybody who is serious about making a change in their life can do this but you're going to have to make a move now I challenge you to uh, go to the description box of wherever you're watching this video click the link and enroll in this science of overcoming procrastination and you're going to sit down with me in a one-on-one -on -one encounter something that would normally be excessively more than it is right now i've made it affordable because i want everybody who is serious about changing their life to really have no impediment no nothing worth having is free but i guarantee you there are people who have worked with me in the past that would see this and go my god what is he doing because they know what it takes and they were willing and they did it. Now I'm challenging you. Click the link. Come into my world. I don't, I don't promise anybody ease. I don't promise anybody any magic solution. What I promise you is that there is a way to move past what's holding you back. I don't care what the challenge is. There's a way to overcome it. Let's make that happen. Talk to you soon.